Well, hello, Din. This is Jake Laughlin bringing you another episode of Discover Din, a show brought to you by the Convention and Visitors Bureau, highlighting events around Din. This week, we're talking about an article that came out in the Huffington Post, and so Kim Phillips, Vice President of the Convention and Visitors Bureau, is here to tell you all about it. So without any more ado, here is Discover Din. Hello, Denton. This is Kim Phillips coming to you from the Denton Convention and Visitors Bureau, and welcome to Discover Denton. Last Wednesday, March 19th, something very, very exciting, unprecedented happened for our city. Last week, the Huffington Post came out with a story about Denton that made Denton the number one one hot spot in Texas to visit. Actually, the headline for this story read just like this. Forget South by Southwest. Here are eight emerging cultural hot spots you need to visit in Texas. And Denton was number one. That is awesome news. Now, the Huffington Post, in case you're wondering, yeah, but how many people actually see this? Let me give you an idea. First of all, the Huffington Post nicknamed HuffPost, is AOL's news outlet. It has a digital population of 89 million unique visitors every single month. It's a news media model, one of the most unique and most uh, modeled model in the entire world. In other words, they do things in such a way that presents the most news in the most unbiased way that they've actually been the first digital news outlet to receive a Pulitzer Prize. That's a big deal. But can you imagine 89 million people every month? And guess what, folks? We were on the homepage of the arts and cultural section last Wednesday, March 19th. On mobile phones alone, the HuffPost has 59 million visitors every single month and they're unique visitors again and they rack up about 250 million page views yeah every month that's how many people are seeing denton all combined about four billion page views come from unique users to the huff post every month and that's across nine countries so this is not a small audience this is the biggest audience mind-boggling audience i think we've ever been in front of so it's incredible Check it out, HuffingtonPost.com, and look for that story. Again, the title of that story is Forget South by Southwest. Here are eight emerging cultural spots you need to visit in Texas. It'll make you proud. It really will. But, you know, we're kind of getting used to seeing Denton in the limelight these days. And while we'll never take it for granted, and it's certainly not getting old, It's becoming more and more of a regular thing. I mean, for instance, back in January, Yahoo.com named us as the sixth in the top ten small towns in America. Remember Rand McNally and the Travel Channel back in 2012 when they named us the second most fun small town in the United States? I mean, these kind of things, these kind of accolades are happening more and more because Denton is on the rise as the number one up-and-coming destination in Texas. That's huge. That's huge for what we do. That's huge for our city. All right, that said, the music gig, which DenRadio.com is all about, is, is really a driver. It's one of the things that has um, drawn the attention, this whole independent, original thing that's coming out of Denton. And it's not a sound because every sound is a little different. It's that collection of sounds. That's what's really setting us apart. And, of course, DentonRadio.com has become a, a vital and boundaryless vehicle for delivering that unidentifiable sound to the world. We go around and talk about it, but in, until DentonRadio.com came on the scene, we didn't really have a way to deliver it where people could really understand what was going on. Now we do. And in the past two years, it has just exploded out there in the media because people can see for themselves right now sitting at their computer. So that's what they're talking about. I need to go see this for myself. It really has made a difference. So things are really happening. And in fact, We're going to be heading down this week 
to Austin, DentonRadio.com and the CVB and several representatives and delegates from Denton. And we're headed to Austin for the second year in a row to be the music at the Texas Travel Industry Association's annual Unity Dinner. Now, this is a huge event, 1,000 people, um, and they are all elected officials. They are leadership, travel industry leadership. I mean, these are the elite of the elite in leadership right there in the heart of our capital. And who sponsors the music? Austin? No. Denton does. Thanks to DentonRadio.com. And uh, a shout out to Ellie Meyer and Caleb Coonrod, who are featured artists this year. Last year, we took Zach Balch and Karina Michaela. So each year, we're trying to, to shake it up a little bit and show the different things that are coming out of Denton. But I mean, it's amazing how many people discovered us in this boundaryless way just because of our presence being right there playing the music, being the soundtrack to this gigantic, important legislative event. So we're headed that way again this week. And, you know, there's a lot of new stuff on the horizon that's coming up in Denton, and a lot of it can be attributed to the growth we've seen, to the recognition that we're getting. Um, We've got a new convention center on the horizon headed our way, formally approved December the 10th, just this past December, and now we're cruising forward on that, expecting it to break ground, hopefully by the end of this year, and be open by late 2016, early 2017. That's going to open all kinds of doors for our whole city, but including DentonRadio.com. We, we, we definitely see our music scene being a vital part of delivering the Denton experience to these visitors when they're in our city. Also, we've got a new visitor center on the horizon. This one's going to be downtown, and it's going to be an experiential center to help our visitors connect to the Denton experience. It's organic and it's independent, and sometimes that makes it a little hard to find. In Denton, Dentonites, we get it. We know where to find it. We know how to get to it. But visitors don't. This experiential visitor center will be a tool for helping people experience it and and delve into Denton where they walk away saying, oh yeah, now I totally get it. They promised me this vibe and I found it. I sunk my teeth into it and now I have a story to tell that's in keeping with what they believe they would see. DentonRadio.com again is a big part of that visitor center project and we're hopeful that we're going to be seeing that come online by the end of 2014 or early 2015. That's a couple of projects to be looking that are on the horizon. Let me also say about the experiential visitor center. That's something that we've been working on for now over two years. The leadership Denton class through the Denton Chamber of Commerce, that class that graduated in 2012 actually did their class project on the experiential visitor visitor center concept and they benchmarked Denton against other cities of our size and our geographical location as far as close to a metropolitan city and they found that we're sorely lacking in this area most places our size have got some kind of visitor center to help people connect to the community to manage the most possible positive complete experience in the community and that's what that's what this visitor center is going to be seeing that leadership Denton project come to fruition and really helping visitors connect where every visitor and Dentonites as well come there and they connect they become ambassadors for our city and locals too we see activity going on there all the time, and I, I think Denton Radio is going to be just a major part of that and our local musicians and really bridging the gap between the music industry and the rest of the world as far as making it truly accessible but keeping it original and independent, which is always our goal. So things are happening. Congratulations to Denton. That Huffington Post story is huge, and we've got a lot to be proud of in this city. Thanks for tuning in. I'll have more to tell you about the Unity Dinner next week. And until then, keep dentoning. There you have it. That was this week's episode of Discover Denton. A big thanks to Kim Phillips of the CVB. Another big thanks to Gravity Feed for providing the intro and outro music. A big thanks to Ellie Meyer for being our queen of editing. We'll see you down in Austin. I'm Jake Laughlin, your producer. Join us next week where we will be bringing you more highlights of our original and independent city. And in the meantime, go enjoy Denton. Denton.